Hi, this is Ben with Novolux Stereophonic. Uh, I've got a uh, MC2505 on the bench today, just completed a restoration on it, and I couldn't find anywhere online uh, instructions on how to adjust the meter circuitry for um, accuracy and, and balance. So um, I figured it out, and I just thought I'd share it with you guys in case someone else runs into the same issue. So I just finished the restoration on this piece. I've set the, uh, the bias and the DC balance. Um, and certain models won't have that. Certain will just have fixed uh, resistors in place. But if it does have the adjustments, make sure you do the adjustments before you uh, you proceed with the meter calibration. Um, if anyone's following along with this, you're doing so at your own risk. There's lethal voltages inside of this unit, so proceed with caution. All right, so let's get started with um, the concept of what we're working on today. So these meters are not in watts, it's in, in decibels. So we have to do a conversion in order to accurately uh, calibrate the meters. So this is a printout of this uh, service manual for this piece. And it says it's rated output power is 50 watts per channel into four, eight or 16 ohm loads. This is because it is a solid state amp with output transformers. So I'm on the eight ohm tap with a dummy load. Um, and then this is the all, basically all the information that we've got. Meter is calibrated to read zero dB when amplifier produces rated power. So what we're looking for is when this needle hits zero, we should be at 50 watts, right? So in order to, to do that, to figure out what we, uh, what we need to do there, we need to do a calculation to get this to something easy to measure, which is volts RMS. So if we take the rated output power of 50 watts, multiply it by the load, we get 400. Take the square root of that, and that gives us 20 volts RMS. So what we're going to look to do is measure the output power of the amp, set it to exactly uh, 20 volts RMS on the outputs, and then calibrate the meters to zero, and then check them against one another for consistency. So let me go over the rig a little bit. So we have obviously the MC2505. We're connected to the 8 ohm taps to a 8 ohm dummy load. Uh, we've got a one kilohertz test tone being fed into the inputs. And then we're going to monitor the uh, across the dummy load with, a, with an oscilloscope. And what we're going to be looking at for reading is this VK is volts RMS. So we're going to be able to read both channels simultaneously. So let's go ahead and power it up. And I'm going to just be messing with the attenuation here. And we'll see that these meters are rising. And let's get a look at what's going on in the scope. So right now I've got the channels overlaid on top of each other. So we're looking, there's a red and a yellow channel. Um, and what I'm going to do first is just a quick power test. So we're going to take this all the way to clipping. We see a clipping there. Bring it back down until it's clean. And we're actually reading about 23 volts RMS. So this is slightly higher than uh, what its rated power is, but I do see a little bit of a, a knee there in the sine wave. So what we're gonna do is back this down to the rated power, which is 50 watts or 20 volts RMS. And you can see we've got a very slight channel imbalance. So we're gonna compensate for that by adjusting the front panel control. So I'm just gonna get this as close to 20 volts RMS as I can. Again, that's that VK reading. So I'm at 20.14, I think that's close enough. And we can see that the yellow channel, which is the right channel, is just very slightly louder, higher amplitude. So I'm gonna go down to the adjustment here and just um, take this down. Right now, these are both cranked to 10 for this measurement. So I'm just going to manipulate this control down until we get these to be equal. Almost there. I think that's gonna be close enough. 20.13, 20.14, that's close enough for our measurements. So the idea here is that we now know both channels are outputting rated power and we're going to have these go to zero dB on the front panel meter at this level. So when we come down here, I'd say that meter there is almost dead on. This one here, we're a little bit off. So we wanna bring up the left channel meter so that it's equal to zero and equal to the right channel meter. So in order to do that adjustment on, on this one, we've got these three little trimmers. This is our left channel and our right channel. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this trimmer down here and we're just gonna to try to bring this to zero.
That is looking good. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just check for accurate accuracy throughout the range. So both meters are now reading that it's outputting 50 watts at uh, the zero um, needle indication. So I'm just gonna back off the signal here. And let's get the right one at about negative three. Let's see where this lines up. See, it's just a little bit off, but that's pretty darn good for tracking. And let's take it down even lower. You can see it's pretty consistent through the range, which is what we're looking for. That's pretty darn good. And I'm gonna take it, to, uh, take the meter sensitivity down one notch and see how we're performing now. That's pretty solid. So that's, uh, that's what we're looking for in that meter adjustment. I hope this, uh, this helps with anyone that gets stuck on this in the future. And uh, post below if you have any questions or comments. If there's an easier way or a better way to do this, I'd certainly like to know about it.